And then moving along, uh, just like actually wrapping up the history part, it was in 1948. In fact, an interesting fact uh, that many South Africans will be well aware of, that is the year which the National Party took over the government and brought in the apartheid laws. But that's a, that's a story for another day. In 1948, the yeah. term diamonds are forever comes into the picture. That term changed the whole outlook of the diamond industry. Can you just speak a little bit more about that? So you had advertising that was just starting out and even back then it was still black and white movies. Mm. So you have this classic period, you have this romance period and like movies was something that is affordable to watch. And I think this is where you start to see advertising really come into motion picture because mm. now we see it in, for example, podcasts or we see it in our YouTube videos, but it was making its way in back in the early 1900s, back in the 1800s. But here they came up with the slogan of diamonds are forever. So this really played into, um, again, you have Tiffany, Breakfast at Tiffany's. So that era, that period of romance and also like what people wear, the celebrity culture was just starting out. So there is an element of timing, but also creativity. So as people say, luck is where opportunity meets preparation. He already had the business prepared and it was just like a great timing in terms of where America was. And I guess not so great timing in terms of where we are. 